college. You probably already know about college sports. Touchdown! And probably college parties too. But how does college actually work? Well, to answer that question, you first have to answer the question, what is college? In the United States, a college is defined as pretty much anything that you go to that school after high school. Technically, there are about 5,000 of these colleges in the United States today. Uh, so let's break it down a little bit. So first of all, you have community colleges. These are two-year colleges where you can earn what's called an associate's degree. These will probably be close to home and your cheapest option for college. Next are four-year universities, which are the most common kind of college you're going to hear about. These can be either public or private, and they can vary in size and price. And last, we have liberal arts colleges, which are small, focused four-year colleges, military academies, which are colleges run by different branches of the military, and for-profit universities, which are run by businesses and which offer a lot of online components. Now, four-year colleges allow you to live on campus in a college dormitory, which means you will be living in a dorm room with a roommate who you probably will not already know. You will also usually have the option to live in off-campus housing or in an apartment nearby. And your last housing option, if you go to a college close to home or a community college, is to commute from home and drive to college every day. And that is the much cheaper option, of course, because living on campus at most universities is actually quite expensive. So now that you know all about what college is and what kind of colleges there are, you probably want to know about what you can do in college. Well, in college, of course, you take classes. In addition to classes, you can join any kind of clubs that you can imagine. There are clubs, organizations for pretty much any topic that you enjoy. Uh, and if, if there's something that you like doing that there isn't one yet, you can make it yourself. There's a lot of freedom in college to do that kind of stuff. So there are all kinds of things you can do and get involved in while you're in college. And of course, the best part is just hanging out with friends. You have tons of friends that you'll make in college and you can have a lot of fun with them. But uh, let's get back to the classes real quick. Now, when you start at college, uh, your first year or two, you're probably going to be taking a lot of classes that are kind of similar to the classes you're taking in high school. So these are all kind of courses that are required by the university. They're kind of like basics. However, after this point, and even sometimes during that point, depending on the kind of college you go to, you can take classes in what is called your major. Now, what is a major exactly? A major is kind of like a subject area that you're interested in or that you want to go into with a career, or you just want to do more schooling in because it's, it's cool to you. Um, and, and your major is going to be the kind of thing that, that guides your classes throughout college. You can major in pretty much anything that there is to take a class in. So what does this major do? Your major, when you graduate, is basically going to show the world that according to the college or university that you went to, you are qualified in that subject that you chose to major in. And so this basically makes you not quite an expert expert, but everyone knows that you know what you're talking about in that subject. And last is your schedule. Now this is going to be the part of college that for many people is actually going to look the most different from high school. Now, the first major difference in college uh, in terms of schedules is that you're probably going to be taking way fewer classes than you took in high school. In, cl in high school you might take like seven classes every day, whereas in college you might take only two to three a day. In college you can also take them at any time of the day. Uh, you might take a couple classes in the morning and be done by lunch, or you might get to sleep in and take classes after lunch, even in the afternoon and even into the evening. Uh, you can take a class pretty much whenever. And so basically that is going to make your schedule in college look kind of random. When you're, when you're making your schedule, most likely it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes and Tuesday, Thursday classes. So because of this, you might even get the chance to work out your schedule to the point where you have very few or even no classes on certain days. And yes, that could even include Friday. Basically, that is kind of the way that the college schedule system works. So thank you for watching. This has been my basic description of pretty much how college works. Now, of course, like I mentioned before, there are just tons of different kinds of colleges, so this can't even scratch the surface of what's really going to go on for each individual person in college. But if you subscribe, I will be continuing to make videos about every kind of college question that you might be able to think of. So please leave any questions or comments. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.